Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new Lincoln 3350 ADV, so the advanced model. Um, so in this video, we're going to go over the old helmet, the new helmet, and the differences around the new helmet and what makes it so much better than the older helmet. Um, so let's dive right in here. So in front of me, I got the old 3350 with the same clarity, the 1111 rating, um, awesome hoods very good, uh, very popular. Um, I, I have one and I'll tell you what, I rolled with it quite a bit and very clear. And for the price point, probably one of the best helmets you can get for the price point. Um, hands down, I, I, they, they are very great. They're reliable, the warranty's great. If you have any trouble, it's usually no questions asked. Here you go, we'll, we'll get it fixed for you. So on the new hood though, what's different about this, um, you can see, from the front here and I'll, I'll peel this off but it's just giving you the the clarity ratings and everything um, and then also telling you about what came new on this so first thing you're probably going to notice here is the light so I came out with a video on the 2450 ADV which had a light but this one so they now they stuck it in the 3350 here I'll turn it on so you hold that for three seconds I believe it's 95 lumens man pretty bright light for what you need now I, we get a lot of questions from welders about you know, lights on helmets and that sort of thing and you Lincoln did it they came out with one and I, it's it's pretty cool I a lot some people say you know why you need it and other people are like that's what they always needed you know and I've seen people duct tape flashlights to the outside and things so pretty cool but on the on the outside that's pretty much the only difference they did add a arc sensor so now you have five arc sensors instead of four so you get a little bit better uh, arc rating you know coming back if uh, it's just faster on the delay and on the sensitivity, so it, it makes it better. Then you still have your grind button, right? Um, so another thing, same headgear uh, as the 3350, the original. But one thing they did change was the actual plate in which you change all the, um, you know, all your settings on. It went to a full color LCD screen, and I'll pop this out here and show you how. Up top, we have the batteries. So these are pretty easy to get out of there. All you gotta do is flip them two switches right there, just and then you pull up and it's hinged up at the top where it's got a little two little ears. And then you just gotta unplug it from the control panel, right? So we unplug that. Very simple to get out of there. Up top is the battery for the light. And that is a AAA battery. Um, runs, you know, the runtime dependent on I'm sorry, it's a double A battery, and it, the runtime is dependent on how often it is on but if you remember from my 2450 video that light when it comes on and you strike an arc the light goes out so it's not on continuously while you're welding just when the arc is distinguished so on the on this menu you can see a little bit different we got the light up top still the same quality and then your five sensors right up there and the solar panel to help assist the battery uh, lights got a little gasket up there that's pretty cool we'll flip it around here and we'll see our faceplate and this is the inner inner lens you can change that and then we'll hit enter and now again it brings up into the shades and that shade sensitivity delay and we can adjust that by going up or we go down now notice they have half shades in this new one so we can set program you know nine and a half or ten now I've, I've tried this on my other hood and uh, I'll tell you what it, it does make a difference going half shade but kind of a unique thing that, oh, it went to sleep, so this thing has an auto shade as well. So if we go one more time, now we're in auto, plus one and a half, negative 2.0. So what I'm gonna tell you on that one is though, it's got a shade 11, but if I'm welding and all of a sudden it becomes brighter, per se, or, or my amperage changed, or my arc, you know, arc length got adjusted, this is gonna automatically adjust, so it'll go up to one and a half shades higher, or it'll come down two shades if it gets lighter. So it's, it's a new auto function on this hood, pretty unique. Um, and it, it's basically, it's, it's matching. It's gonna register the light and tell you what shade it, should, it thinks it should be in. But we'll, we'll go back up. We got grind, we can adjust that. We got cut mode, and then go into weld and auto. So if we go down here and hit menu, we got display settings, maintenance and diagnostics, arc info, Bluetooth. This new unit has Bluetooth. There's an app out 
that you can download on your phone and we'll go over that here shortly but if you got the arc info that just gives you arc time hours so one hours and four minutes right five hours this month so it's a it's kind of giving you a good registration on how much you've welded and what you've done now notice at the top we got our back arrow right so you hit back but you also have arc time hours and then you have a little battery life up there pretty unique that's that's the first one i've seen that actually has a tells you how long your battery is going to be good for so let's go back arc timer you go into that turn it on and off but it's going to measure arc time so they got a lot of new info in this thing um, certification that's for fcc number for bluetooth so that's the fourth thing but on the app you can adjust all this as well but let me show you we'll get into display there we go. Now, I don't want to go, I want to go in just regular mode. So I say I like that nine and a half. We'll go there. Well, then you just hold it down. Boom, now that's my memory one. So then I can go to memory two. And I like that setting, I can just hold down. Boom, save into memory. So now that's my memory two. So I, if I like, got three settings that I really like, I'll just get out of there, you know, put it in the memory and then hit save. But to get out of memory, because you're in memory, you gotta hit the back arrow. So then now you're back into the, now we're on memory two, memory one, memory two, and you just go back. Pretty unique, I mean, it's very user friendly. I like how it's clear, it's color, um, very nice. But let's go over the app now and I'll show you how that thing works. But pretty unique lens and we'll get this thing popped back in there. And new on this, as we get this popped back in, the Lincoln just upped the warranty on the 3350 to five years with this new hood. So pretty awesome. I mean, five years is a long time. And I know I've done some Lincoln warranty on helmets in, in the day and, and they do stand by their product and usually are no question that. So five years, I mean, that's a, that's a long time. And, and a lot of these 3350s are in places that they weld a lot with them. So it's pretty awesome that they up that two years, but let's, Let's try the app now. All right, so I got my phone out here. Now we've already added the helmet that I have, but I'll show you the app here. So it's called GearPoint by Lincoln. Open it up. Let's see here. Go to Baker's Gas Helmet. Now that's that's my helmet right there. It was easy to sync to the phone through the app. It's because it's Bluetooth, so it's talking to it. But as you can see, I'm in weld mode, and I can change my shade from my phone and say I like that. Then you just go down the sink, get it close to your helmet. It'll sync that setting to your hood and it, it, it'll, it'll change the helmet itself through the app. So pretty neat. But it says arc time today, 64 minutes, I think, because we had some lights flashing and it went off and we were doing a little bit of welding. So then maintenance. So we got operator profile and what that does, and just to bum through all this, we got cut, grind, auto. So you can change all those settings on your phone through the app. But we'll go down to maintenance and new operator profile. So this, this app is uh, going to keep track of battery life and consumable. So outer and inner lens life. But, and so what, what it's going to ask you is a series of questions. And how it does it is through calculated time on arc time through the helmet. And then it's just an estimation of when you should change it. So say I'm, gonna, I'm MIG welding next. I'm MIG welding mild steel, next. I'm running 7525, so that's good, next. Position, we'll just pick flat, fill it, amperage. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go up to 200 amps, just call it, that's what we're gonna run at. Do I do that every day? Sometimes, sometimes lower, sometimes higher. So we're gonna hit next. And then it says, how close is your helmet to the arc? Close, less than a foot, or normal, greater than a foot. So we're gonna go close, because I got my head next to the arc. And then welding gun, if I link a gun, a, a MIG gun from Lincoln to it, that'll keep track of maybe when I should change consumables on that MIG gun, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna, don't set up a gun, done. When I got done, I synced it to the helmet, and now we're gonna click on done. So now we're synced to the hood, and now it's gonna give me in maintenance before it didn't have anything now it's going to give me my inside cover lens and my outside cover lens what the rating is so it's like a little dashboard with a fuel gauge and it's going to give you how much life is left 
Um, and then there's step-by-step -step instructions on how to change the inside lens if you're not familiar with this helmet. Um, and then replacement parts is going to give you all the part numbers on there. So say I want an outside cover lens, right? And that, that's what we're going for. We're going to go view. And then that's going to tell us we're going to go find online. We're right there in stock by at bakersgas.com. So through the app, it directed me to Lincoln, and then Lincoln I find online, and I can find buy packs of these on bakersgas.com. So very cool. And I just, if I didn't know the part number, it has all the information in the app. And usually everybody I know, they don't know the part number, so it's even better now. You can sync it to your phone, and now you've got the information at your fingertips. Now we're back to this dashboard. Click on the outer lens. We can also go up here and click on this. And it's going to say, with the parameters I put in there, MIG welding steel, it said that 20 hours was the maximum life for the outside cover lens. But obviously I can change that, and it'll update it in the in and sync back to the unit. But very cool. I mean, it's it's all very user friendly. Everything on there is pretty, you know, pretty clear cut. Like we can just trade chain to all our cut stuff. So very neat. And it's just all on an app called GearPoint right there. Pop back in there. So it syncs to our, our phones. And uh, now we have part numbers and pieces at the, our fingertips. Very cool. But all in all, I mean, the helmet itself is with that functionality at it. You know, some of you might not use it. Some of you probably will love it because it's going to have everything in there. I know some people always say, well, why do I need to change the shade on my phone? Not necessarily that. You could set up memories, right, and program them, and then they would sync to this, and then you could toggle through your memories when you don't, when you're not using your phone, right, when you're welding. But it's also good because it gives you a, a lifespan of all the consumable parts on the helmet. Very nice, though. I'm, I'm excited about the light. I'm glad they put it in the 3350. This is probably one of my favorite hoods on the market for the price point and the quality of the hood itself. Um, like I said, and they stand by their warranty and now they're now it's a five year warranty. So that's even better. If you got any questions or comments, uh, anything about this hood, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for some more.